Hey, Chad. Hey, Brandon. Hey, I was wondering, how many subscribers do we have? Um, let me check. Okay. Uh, let's go over to the browser. And we're gonna... Faster, please. I'm mistyping while you're yelling at me. Chad, faster! Hack, make, mod, faster. Hold on! I want to see the subscriber count today. All right. It looks like 5,820. Oh, that's decent. Could we have done that faster, though? What's up guys, welcome to Hack Make Bot. I'm Brandon. And I'm Chad. And Chad, I want us to run a successful YouTube channel. Do you as well? I, yeah, I do. Well, mm -hmm. you know how we do that, right? Uh, make great content. And we gotta check the statistics every single day. We need to know our view count and our subscriber count. What about something like this? What is that, a clock? This is the Lemetric Time. It is a clock. Uh -huh. And also it connects to your phone. You can download extra apps. It does your YouTube subscriber count. Why didn't we use this instead of the computer? Well, it's uh -huh. 200 bucks. You, you paid 200 bucks for that? You wanted a solution. Yeah, but not for that much money. I don't. Can't you just, can't you just make one? Yeah, of course we can make one. Okay. I think the first thing we got to do is we got to outline our project. Of course, yeah. We need to make it automatically update. Okay. So that means it's gonna to connect to the internet, so it always has real-time data. It's gotta be customizable, Chad. Ah, uh, okay. We'll make a case or a casing for it that you'll be able to choose different colors, shapes, sizes. What's next? It's gotta be cheap. It's gotta be cheaper. I'm not paying $200 for a YouTube sub counter, Chad. No, That's I, ridiculous. I'm with you. I, I, I'm gonna keep this under 100 bucks. Lower, lower, go lower. 50? You know what? Do 20 and I'll give you a firm handshake. I'll give it a shot. Well, let's get to it. What are we standing here for? All right, there we go. Chad, what did you do? I made it. Under $20. Yep. Well, I'll be darned. Do you like you it? You want the handshake or no? Wait. Okay. You've got the subscriber count. Uh-huh. You've got the view count. Okay. Oh, and then the channel name, of course. Of course. Now. Oh, it's grading time. The first thing we discussed yes. was the auto updates. Yes, it is connected to our router wirelessly. To the Wi-Fi. To the internet. So Chad, is it? customizable it is infinitely customizable how well it's all open source and it's just arduino code so you can write whatever code you want you could even do a stock ticker you could do Ooh. weather updates i mean check on those red cat stocks in, in this case we're just using the red led mm -hmm. um, but you can buy them in green and blue i think oh okay now chad this is the big one mm -hmm. how much did it cost you less than twenty dollars how well, the first thing is we had to have some kind of display. I found this eight by eight matrix and it comes in groups of four panels. Mm -hmm. And I figured we needed, you know, two of these, which is eight smaller panels. And I found that you can get these on Amazon for 13, $12 for a pair. So I looked into everything else. This is the most expensive piece. Then we needed to control it somehow. Mm -hmm. And this is uh, ESP8266. And this is a smaller version of it. It's a very popular microcontroller. It connects Wi-Fi. If you buy these in packs of five, you can get it for $3. Next, we have the case. So now, of course, this one is 3D printed and you don't absolutely need a case. You can just wire it together and it'll work without the case. Right. But the case gives, Looks it, that, nice. yeah, it gives yeah. it that final polish. What's really fun is once you have the stuff printed out, you can try different materials. Like on this one. Toilet paper? No, it's just a, a cloth with like a, you know, a texture to it. Oh, okay. But you can try different vinyls, different cloths, you know, make it your own. Then of course you need a way to power it and you have a USB cable 
mm -hmm. and a USB plug. You know, these are usually three or four dollars, and these are another, depending where you can get it, you get it for a couple bucks. So depending and, what gas station you go to. Yeah, exactly. And the only other pieces would be these spacers that you put in to hold in the display oh, okay. of the case. All of those parts, depending on where you get them and that, you can be pretty frugal about this. It's way less than $200. All right, so Chad, this is great, but what about the software side of things? You haven't talked about the real... The real yeah, geeky I was stuff yet. Afraid you were going to ask me about oh, that. Oh, sorry. I can so, leave. Uh, writing the basic code was not too hard, but here's the thing: in order to pull the data, you need to work with an API, the YouTube API. A what? Uh, yeah. So, in <laughs> order to work with the API, you got to open a Google Developer account. I really am happy that you got this under twenty bucks. Thank you, you know the software and everything, but you need to you need to slowly roll, cowboy. This is way too complicated. No person is going to want to go through all that. Well, I mean, some people will, but no. not the average Joe. I get it. You're right. Joe, would you? <laughs> He's not average. <laughs> um, okay, so what does that mean? You are right. We need to make it simpler. But not only do we need mm -hmm. to make it simpler for the people, we need to make it bigger. Like I'm talking Godzilla type. Big. I Yeah, I know. Can't do I'll, it? I'll do it, but it's going to create a challenge for the budget. Okay. Oh, you're okay with that? I'm fine it's with my that. Money. Yeah. Well, you know, if you can't do it, it's okay. I some can people do it. can't. I can, some people can't I can handle do it. stuff I can like do that. It. But right now, we got to focus on getting this thing easier to program. Absolutely. I have an idea. Oh, we're gonna go talk to Keith Brown. Keith Brown. Yeah. Holy smokes! Hi, Keith. Hey. Brandon, this is Keith Brown. He's a good friend of mine, and he owns Social Genius. What makes it special is the user can pull stats from different social accounts without having to work with APIs directly or mm -hmm. open like developer accounts through Google. We want it to interface with this. I wanted to see if you might be able to adapt your code to generate an automatic Arduino script. That's uh, my bread and butter right there. <laughs> so ideally what would happen, it, they would go to your site, you know, register an account and they would be able right. to adjust the data on here. So it's that easy. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to go build Brandon one of these because this one's mine. Then we'll uh, we'll check back with you. Bye, right. Keith. Bye, Keith. Looking good. Stay handsome, young man. We're going to start with the electronics, which consists of the display pieces, the microcontroller, and some wires. Or in other words, the two vanilla wafers, the brain, and the uh, candy string. <laughs> Case ready. So we're done. So I wanted to take a few seconds here to just go over the software portion of this. We did our best and I have to thank Keith Brown. He really put a lot of effort into getting this ready for us. So all you have to do is you go to Social Genius, open an account, it's free. Then you can put in your channel name and then what it does is it will uh, ask you to confirm your channel. You hit generate code for my project and it goes to a screen that allows you to set your time zone, particular Arduino model you have, your SSID, which is your Wi-Fi network and your password. You put all that in here and it automatically generates the code for you. You copy that code to the clipboard. Once you copy the sketch, you just take it over to the Arduino IDE and you upload it to your device and you're done. If you're confused about this, you need more details. We're gonna have tons of you know step-by-step -step tutorials on our website so you can always see the projects that we're doing. And if you have any trouble, contact us because we'll help you through it. All right, now that I got this done, let's go see what Brandon's doing. Reflect Bring out the trusty old notepad. Um, we got the auto update done. Mm -hmm. Well, which means it updates the stats. So you yes. don't have to, once you got it all set up initially, mm -hmm. it everything's automatic, time, day, all that. We made it customizable. Absolutely. So you can customize it, put different names, different channels. Mm -hmm. And there's gonna be more 
customization oh. as we go because it's now all updated through your social genius account mm -hmm. so that's pretty cool that is very cool um it's inexpensive or what we like to call cheap, cheap. how cheap is it <laughs> less than twenty dollars so that's pretty cool mm -hmm. but most of all with this software collaboration mm -hmm. it's easy easy peasy lemon we squeezy. made it easy for anybody and everybody to do this i'm pretty excited about that so yeah. i think it's it's just about perfect i'm putting together a kit so people can buy this kit it's going to come pre-flashed with the software that way all you got to do is open up your phone and you can set it up through wi-fi connection you don't even need bluetooth don't Just even need it. A smartphone Throw it out. and Wi-Fi. You know, you have to plug in the USB cable to your <laughs> computer. The kit then, you know, comes with the display items, the, the vanilla wafers, the brain, the whole nine yards. Or you can go to Amazon and you can just source and buy everything yourself. I'm happy to share the links so you can find all the parts you need to build this and have a success. So I love the aesthetic. I think it's cool. It, you know, I would love to just have that sitting on a shelf. Mm -hmm. Maybe um, on the toilet even, am I right? <laughs> no, I, I think we accomplished all the goals. It, I mean, it's done. Um, yeah, we, we I'm did. pretty. Yeah, we, we accomplished all the goals, yeah. What? what? <laughs> you, just, you just said it, we were gonna have the big, the big, the big one, the, the big, old, uh, big old boy. You thought I forgot. Did you not? not? Oh my goodness, Chad! You dog! What did you do? I it even it. changes colors. Yes, I made a. How did you? One. How? Why? So this is a little bit different methodology. We used a lot of the same techniques, with the exception of the lights. Uh huh. Uh, these were a little limited. We had one color. You know, size is a. Yeah. You know, cost. We wanted to keep it down. This one. You a little know, bit more expensive. Yeah, a little bit more expensive, some more capabilities. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to introduce something at the end of the episode to see where people want to take this. What you know, what kind of information do they want yeah. to learn about? Now we can end on a good note. <laughs> yes, and we don't have to <laughs> look at your sad face. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys want to see more future content, make sure you hit that uh, subscribe button so you won't miss anything Wait, out. I, I, have, I have a knock knock joke. Oh, okay. Knock knock. Come in. No, you do it. You start. Okay, knock knock. Who's there? I don't, I don't know. <laughs> Sorry, that wasn't the joke. <laughs> knock, knock. Who's there? Hit the. Hit the who? Hit, hit the subscribe hit the and like button. Uh, <laughs> so, all right, I just. Make sure you guys drop a like on this video if you enjoyed it. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make this counter go up so we can make an even bigger sign. Comment something you guys would like to see us do next. I'm Brandon. I'm Chad. And we'll catch you next time. Thanks.